It's my feel-good breakfast show. Welcome back, everybody. This is your feel-good breakfast show. You're just in time for a very important topic. It is, of course, Health Tuesdays here on your feel-good breakfast show. Now, finding out you're pregnant can stir up a massive mix of emotions from joy to excitement to surprise, even panic. Most of these <laughs> feelings are all normal. Let me just tell you, it is all normal. And once you've really processed all of your emotions, make sure to take the necessary precautions to make sure you and baby are safe, because that's all important, that you and baby are safe. Now, Pregnancy Awareness Week take place, uh, takes place in February every single year. The Department of Health uses this week in uh, to strengthen pregnancy education and stress the important issues that promote a healthy pregnancy and safe motherhood. Now, specialist to obstetrician and gynecologist Dr. Kim Sontag is here to discuss this very important health topic and we'd love to get your questions or your comments, especially if you're going through this wonderful journey right now. Call us on 21 110 We'd love to hear from you. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Um, vitally important um, uh, topic, vitally important stage of, of any woman's life to be going through this, but there are so many questions raised and in this country it's quite a dynamic situation that many mothers find themselves in and i know the department of health is obviously putting a huge spotlight on promoting safe motherhood what are some of the services that they offer to back this up so when you first find out that you're pregnant you should attend either your local clinic your local hospital or if you are on medical aid a private doctor and then that will be your booking visit which basically means that you um, get assessed for how high risk or low risk your pregnancy is and then you get managed accordingly. So if you were in a high risk pregnancy, you might get referred to a tertiary centre. You'll also get screened for things like anemia, high blood pressure, diabetes, any at risk things and then that will be managed according to the things that have been diagnosed. The services that the government offer um, are antenatal care, so that would be care during the pregnancy, as well as um, supplying women who don't have access to prenatal vitamins, education, um, HIV testing, and also then following them through their whole pregnancy to the birthing process and then assistance afterwards once they've delivered. Like you said, it is very scary and a lot of women don't seek professional help during their pregnancy. Why is this so important and how often should you be seeing, you know, someone like yourself, a gynecologist and an obstetrician and who should we be seeing during our time of pregnancy? I think it's vital to be seeing a healthcare professional when you are pregnant and as soon as you find out that you are pregnant to go and attend somewhere wherever you are able to. Um, in the first 20 weeks of pregnancy we recommend going every six weeks and then after that every four weeks and then possibly at the end every two weeks. It also depends on um, the type of pregnancy that you have. So if you have a very high risk pregnancy you might be being seen every two weeks. I think um, with younger girls who are pregnant in teenage pregnancies, they're often quite scared to let their parents know so they avoid uh, seeking any health care. Um, that actually just creates more problems later on down the line because problems haven't been identified or treated. You mentioned uh, vitamins that are provided. What are the essential supplements, the vitamins, the medication that should be taken? Obviously, we know that there are some extreme and, and differing cases, high risk, uh, but for a normal pregnancy, if there is, is such a thing, um, what vitamins should uh, a mother be taking? So most of the pregnancy multivitamins that you can buy anywhere um, have all the vitamins in it that you need. The most important being folic acid and iron supplementation. The folic acid is important for the development of the baby's nervous system and the iron is to prevent anemia. If you are not able to purchase pregnancy multivitamins then at any clinic or hospital you will get iron and folic acid provided for you. Well we are going to continue this conversation and also speak about how it, that affects now during a global pandemic and of course specialist obstetrician and gynecologist Dr. Kim Sontag will still be back to tell us more about Pregnancy Awareness Week and pregnancy and COVID-19 after this. So remember if you do have any questions for Dr. Sontag on pregnancy and also the COVID-19 and the coronavirus send us your questions via social media or give us a call and that number is 021-110-5552. We'll see you in a moment.